but we can do something. We can create a restaurant business, like what spin model you, uh, the spin folks and, and developers. About 20% of our sales, if we can go to a high-end restaurant, someone go work with, some, you know, work with restaurants that really understand fresh food, want different qualities. We can be very nimble in a, in a place like this in these earth boxes. We can choose different kinds of varieties, grow them on small scale, contract form. It may not seem like that much of a difference having it six hours later or two hours later, two days later. It's, it's actually can be an unbelievable both in terms of taste and freshness. Gramercy Tavern in Manhattan, not only are they really excited about us growing particular varieties, they're so excited about it, they're actually going to come down on Sundays and help harvest it and bring it back. They want their, they believe in food and a good quality, high quality food. They can actually say that we picked this and we know where this came from and that not only that but it's in, from their community. <laughs> <laughs> right next door to us is uh, Torchlight Academy, and it's we we have another interesting exchange for uh, from them as well. Well, we were actually here in August, and we looked in the back, and we was like, "What are they doing? They have what are they doing with the land?" And two of the parents came with the teachers, and we met Lorraine. And Lorraine said they have an urban farming where they're growing vegetables and stuff to you know to plant and harvest. We get our water from Torchlight Academy. Uh, you'll see a hose that kind of comes and meanders through, and it comes from their building. And what we do um, uh, for them is provide educational opportunities. Our high schools have to do community service. So I was like, excellent opportunity, right in the backyard. Let's see if we can help them out. She was so wonderful. They can do it every Thursday or whatever day. Every Thursday and sometimes twice a week, uh, they come down, see what we're doing. We'll tell them about what's going on, and then they'll get in, in the dirt and, and uh, do some planting. Once the vegetables are grown or ready to be sport, they will also do the farmer's market with her. So you can see all that work you put in, you only spend a dollar for a green pepper. So they're learning hard work, and I love it. It's the beginnings of our agri agricultural educational program. Believe it or not, it's nice to come out here during the day, and I'm out here in a lot. I was cleaning a lot, you know, when we first started and everything. Right next door is Integrity House, uh, which is a uh, drug, and, uh, drug and alcohol rehab uh, in-house facility. And uh, we struck a deal with them to open up uh, for volunteer possibilities, and we would help them with their gardening efforts as well. Last year, I was in a program, integrity program, and I, Lorraine was, and John and uh, Kirsten were doing a, doing a garden, and I volunteered last year, and, and uh, this year she hired me. And, you know, it's like getting my life back together again, you know. And so we would have up to 10 to 15 uh, Integrity House guys um, helping out. And now two of them that are about to graduate um, are our first hires. So that's a, a very exciting thing. And having the people, believe it or not, in the community and like the older people are happy to see that the lot has got the it's got the, the farm out here instead of it being all, you know, grown over and all kinds of garbage thrown in here. And they, they appreciate that we're taking care of it, you know, when they come. And it's nice to talk to them. I mean, I see people going to work in the morning, then I see them coming home in the afternoon. They see me, we greet each other, you know. It's, it reminds me of when I was young, man, the way it used to be, you know what I mean? People loving people. The neighbors really responded, and so, um, kids would come pouring in, like just behind us um, are, you know, a lot of kids live back there and uh, we would have Cameron with a K uh, come and, and dig right in, contributing, and so he would plan up boxes with us. And but what followed the kids were the grandparents. So the grandparents would come down and they would talk about the things that they grew um, in the South. And then the parents would come and um, they would experience this. And, 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 be curious about what we have here for all that. It became this, um, this wonderful community, family experience that, uh, that really blew us away and just filled our hearts with, uh, with such love and joy uh, for the possibilities that this brings. So there's so many things going on here uh, that portend of great things to come. I would say by year three, we see ourselves on five acres here in the city. Um, fully planting uh, them up. And open up many doors of opportunity, helping us live healthier lives, uh, more nutritious, nutritiously sound lives, help us to make more conscious decisions, maybe choose not to have 
uh, the potato chips because you're right here, you have uh, a more positive choice. Eggplant, tomatoes, uh, the peppers are extremely good. Steamed broccoli and fried eggplant. Love it, <laughs> yes. I like everything to tell you the truth, but you know, the pot peppers and the tomatoes and I like lettuce. But the real broccoli rob needs to be, you know, a full grown, it's that bluish green leaf that you have that's a little bitter and you saute it and have an pasta and spinach in, in um, with sausage, it's really great. So hopefully it'll address issues of obesity, issues of type two diabetes. There's so many wins here uh, that uh, I'm just a, a huge fan and a huge supporter and I'm hoping that this becomes a movement in Newark. So that we can um, continue to um, provide work for people and food for, for the produce desert that this is and will no longer be, you know, thanks to, to us being here.